Hello guys, this is The Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty 2015 video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here for the greatest Call of Duty 2015 news and content as it comes out will be lead as it comes out we'll be covering all of the new content, all of the leaks, rumors, facts, official information, everything we can possibly get our hands of about the next Call of Duty coming out in this year leading up to its release in November time. So today I don't have that much information to share with you guys, that's why I've been sort of putting off this video and I've not been uploading, uh, well, consistently for the past uh, few days. And uh, also it's because recently, I don't know why, there's a few videos that I've just had a lot of hate on and it's just not made me enthusiastic to make videos. And it really is quite annoying, like I made a video about the whole advanced supply drops coming to Advanced Warfare and I basically said how I can't stand the idea and it's ridiculous the amount of, uh, the amount of um, hate I got. I mean, I'm allowed to state an opinion, I can have opinions and if you don't appreciate that you can just leave my channel now. So anyways, let's get into today's news. So anyways, the first bit of news, which is the probably, which is probably the biggest bit of news we have gotten, is that a Black Ops 3 website has leaked. Now this was originally found by a YouTuber called Bishlik. A link to his channel will be in the description. Make sure to go check him out. He covers Call of Duty 2015 news very, very regularly whenever it comes out. So I really highly suggest to go check him out because sometimes he'll upload before me uh, regarding 2015 news, Call of Duty 2015 news, or sometimes he'll cover the stuff which maybe I won't cover. So make sure to go check him out. Link it will be in the description. Well, anyways, you may be thinking, well, what is this Black Ops 3 website all about? Well, I'll leave a link to it down in the description so you can actually go see for yourself. And if you go to blackops3.com, it loads up a page and it says website coming soon. And you may be like, well, someone could have just bought the domain, the rights to that domain. It may not actually be owned by Activision. Well, actually, um, another YouTuber called Biblical Reaper, probably if you're interested in Call of Duty 2015 news, you'll probably know who he is by now. But basically, he's done some digging around and he's found out that Activision actually fully own the rights to that website. Now, this pretty much 99.9 .9 reoccurring percent confirms that uh, Black Ops 3 is the next Call of Duty because they won't have a website about Black Ops 3 that is coming soon if it wasn't going to be the next Call of Duty. Not at all. So I really do think that the Black Ops 3 is the next Call of Duty. We've had a lot of leaks um, hinting at the fact that it is going to be Black Ops 3. We've had loads and loads of leaks and lots of them are really, you know, they're all piecing together now and I really do think the next Call of Duty is Black Ops 3. You know, also to actually further back up this whole website idea, well, uh, I can't remember when, but a couple of months ago, um, David Vonderhaar, no, maybe it was only a month ago actually, David Vonderhaar on Twitter, who is uh, one of the main heads at Treyarch developing the next Call of Duty game, he tweeted out the fact about the fact that, uh, you know, Black Ops 2 had a secret website. Oh no, this was at the, yeah, this was coinciding with the Dice Summit. And uh, Black Ops 2 had a, uh, a website that was around for ages before they even announced the game or even started hyping up the game and it was a secret website with information on and details about the next game and uh, and lots of hype stuff that they didn't actually fully announce that it was to do with Black Ops 3. Fans ended up finding this website way before the game was even like started to get hyped up and it, it ended up being the website that was supposed to intentionally hype up the game. Just like Advanced Warfare had a website about um, information regarding the campaign um, and things like that. They had stuff about the uh, campaign, the paid contractors uh, in the army and stuff like that. Well, we may see a similar thing on this Black Ops 3 website. You know, because Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 both have their own website. 
So I think the following tradition with this Black Ops 3 website, make sure to leave down in the comment section down below what you think. Do you think this Black Ops 3 website is legit? Because basically there's no questioning it, it is legit, it's owned by Activision, it says website coming soon. So uh, make sure you're checking back on the website very regularly, especially leading up to May time because they may start updating the website with new information regarding the next Call of Duty and hints at what the uh, game may actually be about. So anyways, in other news, we have gotten some further information, and um, there was a leak on, well, a leaked image, and it sh I can't remember if it was on the PS3 or PS4, I think it was on the PS3, I can't remember now, um, but basically it showed someone uh, on their friends list, and it says, playing Black Ops 3, but it said it in a different language, and... It looked very, very cool, actually, um, and very legit. Now, we did also get a previous leak similar to this one, and it was someone playing on the Xbox 360. And uh, that leak looked really fake. I think that was a lot easier to do. But this one, although I still think it is fake, I think it's got a lot more credibility. I can't remember if it was on the PS3 or PS4 now, actually. Actually, I think it might have been on the PS4. So if it is on the PS4, which I, for some reason, can't remember, then it's more credible than the other leak, which was on the 360, because obviously this Call of Duty will be mainly being developed on next-gen consoles like Advanced Warfare. So at this point, they would only be testing it on the next-gen consoles at the moment. So that's why it's more credible, and also it just looks a lot more. Be it looks at a lot better quality, and uh, and stuff like that. I'll try and leave an image down in the description if I remember to do so to this image. But most likely it is fake because they're probably not going to be giving anyone alpha builds of the game at this time. Yes, they will be beta testing the game, but as I said in my previous video about the 360 leak, Treyarch will be inviting people to their studios to test the game. They won't actually be letting people have copies of the game and stuff like that. And they would probably, you know, have to play offline and, they, you know, stuff like that so no one can actually fi find out that they are indeed playing Black Ops 3. Now, uh, I still think this is fake, but I still think the next Call of Duty is Black Ops 3. This was just a cool leak. Um, there's also been, like, over the past few months, we've had tons and tons and tons of uh, leaked Black Ops 3 covers. They're all fake. I, they're all really fake, actually. There's a few legit ones legit looking one should I say but they're all fake I mean there's one which shows Black Ops 3 and it says PlayStation only which obviously as we know that's never going to happen as it's as uh, they have the contract with Microsoft and also on that same one uh, it uses a three symbol which if you actually search uh, three Roman numerals on uh, Google Images. It comes up with that same image, just a different colour. So all they've done is change the colour to blue and added some effects to it. But it is definitely fake. And there's been tons of other ones. There's been some World at War 2 ones as well. And there's also been recently a leaked World at War 2 uh, loading, uh, loading screen and, uh, and video. These are also indeed fake, they use a lot of similar things to the Borderlands uh, leaked loading screen and also the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 leaked loading screen which I've covered previously. All three of these are fake, they're most likely made by the same person, they use the same image effects, they all use the same effects, so they're all fake because they've all been made by the same person most probably. Um, so don't fall for that if you do see any, if you see Borderlands leaks, if you see uh, leaks Black Ops 3 loading screens or World of War 2 loading screens, they are all fake. I'm not saying Black Ops 3 won't be the next Call of Duty, I think it will, but this specific leak loading screen is definitely fake. So anyways, thank you for watching the video, like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty 2015 news and content, as well as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news as well, and also live commentaries and things like that. So anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, bye.